the student muscle. And to make this work, I need six volunteers to come down. And let's see, I, to those two in the back, yeah, you're right three quarters of the way back. I need two from over here. Anybody? Yes, way in the back and up in the front, and two from this side. Anybody on this side want to go? Yes, you too. Okay. So come down, and we are going to make a muscle out of these six students and a few props. And I was carrying my props around. These are actin filaments, which I thought were absolutely clearly actin filaments. But a professor from the medical school stopped me, and he said, what are you, throwing javelins at the students? And I said, oh, can't you tell they're actin? And he said, well, they're not twisted double strands. So, okay. So to do this, I'm going to need to have four of you be myosins. And so why don't I have you be a myosin and you be a myosin. Your names are? Fariha. Fariha. Shimi. Shimi. And why don't you be a myosin? Yes, and yes, Tom. Okay. What I want you to do is sit down facing your neighbor. Come over here. And you sit down on the floor with your knees up and face your neighbors. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Okay, very good. And you sit down behind her. Okay. And sit down on the floor. Okay, good. We have our four myosin proteins that are illustrating this side. That's those two. And this side. That's those two. Okay. And now your legs are the myosin tails. And you have two globular heads. For each myosin, where are your globular heads? Your hands, exactly, because you have two. Okay, very good. Okay, now we have two Z discs, and you are? Iman. Jamila. Um, you are our Z discs, and you need to pick up one of your actin filaments and then orient yourselves correctly so you... Uh, mimic the Z-discs that are up there. Okay. So anybody can help them too. So now are you... Okay, good. So now this Z-disc is actually oriented correctly because there is a correct orientation of the actin filament. The plus end has to be um, organized toward the Z-disc. So if you pit, turn your... Actin filament over. No. Uh, very good. Okay. That's good. Okay. So now you both are, at, and so, and you guys scooch in a little bit closer. Very good. Okay. So now we're oriented correctly. We have a Z disc with an actin filament that's parallel and a Z disc that's parallel. We have this set of myosins, and they're going to um, pull, they're going to actually go in the plus toward their plus end. And where is their plus end? That direction. Okay. And you guys are going to go in your plus end, right? Okay. And so you can't do that until you have some ATP and calcium. Uh, okay. And now, put those down, and um, use your globular heads. You are now ha going to bind to what? Actin. Okay. So globular heads bind to actin, and now move toward your plus ends. No, no, move toward, no, oh, sorry, move your hands, your globular heads, you're stuck. Okay, you're going to have to move in, aren't you? Can you guys move? No. Ah, okay. So now, what did we do to the space in between these two actin filaments? We shortened it, exactly. So we contracted because these guys could not move, right? So the only thing that could move were the Z-discs as they move toward their uh, plus ends. Okay, so actually, let's go back and start out again. So here, you started out with this space in between, right? And that's the H uh, band. And as they pull in, the H band decreases in length. And that is what happens when you have contraction of a muscle fiber. Are there questions you have of our muscle fibers up here? Anybody want to ask anything about how this works? Are you good? Yes.
they don't actually cross over. They just come to the middle. So that it shortens this distance. We, um, that wasn't illustrated very well. So they actually come to, they get shorter, but they don't cross over. Okay, so does that make sense to show you how they're actually pulling in opposite directions? Okay, very good. Thank you very much. And here you guys get, you get your... 